Who's ready for the weekly bust? You're in the right place if you came to catch the show. Tithe and Levi are the names of your host. Who the next guest is, I really wanna know. Conversation escalating, let's get to the show. Who's ready for the weekly bust? What's going on, big guy? Nothing much, nothing much. You know, you guys get the lighting from me. Hi. <laughs> no, yeah, I can see you crystal clear, man. You're, you're coming in nice, yeah. man. You can probably have the best uh, picture dude, of everyone dude, that's done this yeah, yet, dude. Yeah, straight up. All right, so this is freaking great news. I'm feeling excited about that. How's everybody, man? How's everybody? I'm digging the skull with the, yeah. ear, with the ear going on. That's from our mom, man. Our mom gave us this, man. It's like yeah, I got um, that for Christmas. We're we're Tool fans. Hey, She's seen mom. this, like like uh our the mom, band Tool. And okay, okay. Eyeballs on it, you know what I mean? So nothing but points right there. So shout out to mom for um with that gift. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. We love our mom, man. She's uh she's the coolest. The coolies. Snack cool. packs are the talking. coolest. So uh, uh Levi, um, you want to lead us right in, man? I'm gonna lead us right in, man. Hey, dude. Sorry for the break. Hold on. I bet I want to apologize, like, cause we're like two, three minutes behind. We just got off another live with our man Tyler Goodjohn, man. Shout out, out to Tyler guys. Goodjohn. Uh yeah. Shout yeah. out to Tyler. How's he doing? He's getting ready to fly out to London for his bare knuckle fight, man. Oh, so, lucky him. I was right really trying to get on that. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, real quick, before uh, what kind of fish are those? Oh, that fish is just one fish. And it's a goldfish, and his name is Weedy. What up, Weedy? Weedy? With a D? Say hi, Weedy. <laughs> Weedy? <laughs> Weedy. Weedy smokes you know, Shout it's out. It's all about goldfish. His birthday's coming up soon in October. There we go. <laughs> nice. That's kind of far, but around the corner. You should give him some flakes of some Weedy. Oh. <laughs> might kill him, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no like break, him. Him. <laughs> just some, some cannabis. Oh, no, no, just like, like just like a little like a little cannabis. I get some munchies. Some cookie crumble in there. Holy Ooh, cookie God. crumbles. Yeah. He'll be high as like probably high as me right now. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll, down. he'll be floating upside down, like, damn, did he die? <laughs> like and, <wow>. I'm gonna, <laughs> and I'm gonna lead us off. Lead us off, Levi. All right, lead it off. Welcome. To season three, episode 16. Yeah, 16. Of the weekly bus. We are here with Andre. Did we get that right? Oh, yeah. Definitely got it right. Nice. Just okay. like that. You'll see me tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. So um, we, uh, we didn't want to mispronounce your name. We've seen it. I heard you saying something in the million, million dot. Million.co earlier because I was million in there. Million.co, everybody. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, go? so the first name is normally pronounced Ade. But, Ade. yeah, you know, but everybody ends up saying Ade because that's just simple and easy and how it looks and how it goes, you know. But a uh, different mind frame on it. Hold on. Yeah, I heard that I in got, there and I was going to say it. I didn't yeah, know. my bad. I, didn't know I got people texting me. You? I was like, I thought you, you said, like, let them know. Me, 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 me. But, yeah, so Ade, you'll. You know, that's just how it is. Nice and flowy. There you go. That's oh, right. Bro. Um, He is the UFC fighter. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to jump right into that, man. Yeah. What was yeah, it dude, like? Because we know sweet. a ton of people uh, that are in the fight world. We're really well connected. It sounds weird, but in Great Falls, Montana, we put out a, a few uh, UFC fighters. And then out of Helena, we got a UFC fighter. Sean O'Malley's out of Montana. And, oh, uh, and, then the, and then the BKFC is littered with yeah. Great Falls fighters, actually. Yeah, so. like, yeah, like there's a lot of it's a fight community that's real, even in the boxing oh. community. Shout out to Sugar Sean. Um, Sugar Sean. but like, for you, like, we I never really got to ask the question to anybody so far. What was it like for you to actually get to that moment of signing a contract with the UFC? Uh, keeping it on it, it wasn't as grand as uh, most people ended up end up saying or thinking you know uh i was like in an aqua position like yeah. you know when i say aqua position almost not you know about to be homeless type ordeal trying to get a um, home whole mindset and you know and then the whole getting on uh, oh no are they hold on a second here um uh, like one of those, I'm not with it, but it just kind of came out with like 
the the, the message just got twisted in in its own little way. That time that uh, move that our uh, labs had or something, or uh, maybe that are you hot? Like, yeah. Everything is flowing in a great direction. Everybody's behind you and stuff like that. Uh, so when I ended up signing, it was great for that moment. But when I got out there in Brazil, you know, to fight Hinnon, uh, you know, it was one of those I couldn't enjoy uh, Brazil. I was basically in the hospital slash hotel. So I was going back and forth. And the time that I get back, I had to cut weight. And then, you know, as soon as I end up sleeping, time I get back up, they had to send me back to the hospital for something else. Just didn't end up making sense. But it was like one of those things that kind of like basically fuck with me and get in my head and everything to make yeah. uh, my uh, opponent a little bit more, basically a little bit more home for him, I guess you can say. Sure. The argument's sake, I remember it was his exit route. You know, so I knock him out. He, he would have been, he would have got fired. But since he ended up having that full six pounds on me, uh, you know, basically not making weight kind of saved him saved him and his job and me because I didn't end up really bashing him or jumping on the fact that he didn't make weight. It was kind of yeah. like, hey, yeah. it's his last day. You know, you'll do anything you can to automatically win, you know. So, then you know, I didn't end up taking no points from the guy. Yeah, no okay. doubt. Okay. Um, uh, Levi, you – Did did I read something about you going to Top Golf like, here soon? Yeah. Oh, definitely going. I'm supposed to be going to Top Golf. So, after I get off here – you know, I'm going to give my boy some kisses and all this other stuff, play with him a little bit, and I'm going to jump in the shower, and then I'm going to go play top golf. Because, your boy, I'm not saying I'm great at that because I only played it a few times, but I am a fan of top golf. So. We fucking love golf, man. <laughs> all right. We all right. Much, but I, I, we we don't got golf, enough dude. time, it feels like, but when we go, we go. You know, we love golfing, man. I felt uh, that. So just note that when I'm out there, we're going golf. Fuck yeah, that's 100%, man. We'll show you some cool courses, and we'll have a blast, man. You're Hopefully like, Buffalo you Hills, Kalispell. Yeah, dude, you'll be like, dude, that, you don't want to leave Montana. Montana's so fun, man. Oh, I you know, I heard, like, nothing but good things about it. So I'm with that, and 100% I'm going to make it because it's on my list of visits, especially when it snows. You got mountains out there to snowboard. Let oh, me know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big, so I'm in. big mountain. AK. I'm in there like swimwear. That shit is the look up Whitefish, dude. Montana, man. You'll be impressed, man. All right, oh, All right. Whitefish, Montana. Yeah, how far is that from y'all? Close, far? Uh, yeah, that's our second. Uh, like, that, well, like, say, the that's valley's our, our home, that's our man. Hometown, yeah, man. so, we, so it's oh, like we three hours away weekend. from there. Yeah, we it's like uh, we we're there often. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Um, so uh, like before we got too uh, away from you, what you're doing prior to that, do you want to talk what millions.co is? Oh, millions.co, it's a uh, basically a super brand or a company slash team that ends up bringing fighters like myself and fans all together, basically to share like one room. That's the whole argument or the whole placement of the whole category, you know? And at the same time, it's kind of promoting us, which are us fighters and whatnot and their uh, merch. Cause you know, you get in places in a lot of spots where it's kind of hard to sell, train and fight, you know? So your best things, we end up getting into like a lot of level. You just want to, focus on training and if you can yeah. make it so simple by saying hey jump on co or millions.co you know you know you jump up on there and it kind of like takes you where you want to go but at the same oh, time you get to share and experience i was on there i like that platform earlier actually oh it's, it's cool it's really cool you end up giving it a chance and you know at the same time uh by signing up you end up getting those type of emails of saying hey this or that you know like oh you know uh join in you got um like my stuff half a month you know yeah, yeah, Play, yeah. Try to get that stuff, you know. That's your but yeah. Oh yeah, this is my merch. This Millions. is before the fighting side. Millions.co, everybody. But yeah, this is the 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 merch for me from my side from a fighter version, and then I'm I'm, I'm coming out with my casual wear, which nice. is the, the day side, you know. Perfect. So yeah, thank dude, you. That, that, that's what's up, man. I'll have to get something for sure, dude. We'll rock it, guarantee Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh so. Uh, with you being like in a uh, little insight, like just a view of UFC, there's some rumors floating around. Connor is spreading like like frenzy. Do you think he's done? He's retiring. Connor McGregor. Oh, Connor McGregor, him returning back no, to the. I think he's retiring. He's trying to say he's trying to say he's done. With oh, that. okay. So, truth be told, I feel like he's not going to retire. I think it's going to be one of those what's the perfect fight for him type of deal. But I think he's going to kind of shift over into the boxing side. 
in which I honestly think he should have um, stuck with. Just factors in he's in a, a, a good backing, and at the same time he can end up making a lot more money than what he was, you know, with the whole USC thing. So, by him, my personal opinion, my personal thoughts on it is, I think that he's gonna go boxing. I think he's gonna end up playing that side. Can you imagine if he went bare knuckle boxing. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. let's go. Hey, if he went there, that would be that would be pretty sick. Just the fact he's in that little Irish type style. Yeah. And at the same time, if he does go there, I'm going to actually have to challenge him or train with him. Either or, I got to end up making one of the two happen. Are you trying to cross over to bare knuckle? Oh, hands down. You know, oh, you know shit, you know, dog. This is going to be I'm going to say, because dude, hands you know is the game. dog. You say, say, it, it, say it earlier. Hands is the game. Hands is the game. And then at the same time, uh, the, the champ that just got done winning uh, not too long ago, he's a. You feel me? Uh, yep. Was it his intern? I know I know y'all had him on and everything. It was oh, like yeah. that. Like, you know, before he jumped on, me and him have a whole the conversation on the uh, on the, the Bare Knuckles page and whatnot, you know, I ended up uh, calling him out. Other people jumped in like, oh, there's a line. You got to do this and do that. And I'm like, all right, well, are you the gatekeeper and stuff like that? And then, then he finally responded and said, hey, you know, basically let me know that when I get there, he, he's accepting a challenge. So, all oh, I know is that me and him going to have some, a little so bit of fun gonna, when I get there. You're going to drop down to 135 and fight Reg, huh? Oh. oh, yeah. For him, Let's definitely. Oh, like I said, for him, definitely. I know oh, like, I, I end up saying I'm moving up weight, but if the fights make sense, I drop down. And I know that he's fun, especially how he brought his dad out there and his dad was there. Oh, he you know, there's nothing but respect fight, on that. Man. You know? Oh, it was, was like nothing awesome but love fight. from that. I, You know, and I feel like the fight would be nothing but respect on it. But granted that someone has to be the bad guy. So I don't mind being the bad guy. So I'm going to be the bad guy on this one. You heard you this, know? David Feldman. Are you listening yeah. to this shit? He's wanting it, dude. And I think it would be yeah. awesome. I guarantee it would light people's asses. And that's what I'm sitting there saying. They just, you know, right now I know everybody's like talking. They're all in talks and the talks is trying to get me over there. But the question is, what is what? But I make sense. All the fights, like, you know, easy me and him, we make sense. And me at 45, it makes sense. So, you know, I'm the type of person that like, they built that, basically they built that whole thing just for me. Dirty boxing, you know, yeah, no takedowns, perfect. go. What okay. do you think about the, the, the styling of uh, the squared ring? Squared circle. Uh, oh, squared circle. The right. circle? Oh, circle is perfect. Because, you know, uh, hands down when it comes into, like, the whole style of boxing, you're circling, you know. It's pivot, pivots, you know, lateral movements, and it's normally in a circle of a nice little dance. So, and again, like I stated, it's like perfectly fit just for me and Have my style, my range. Clinch? You got huge reach. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what huge was reach. Like 73. And we, something, how long was it? Two. Jesus. 76. Yeah. 76 with love. Holy, holy <laughs> yeah, dude, it was stupid, yeah. man. Like, what? Yeah, I was supposed to be six something. I promise you I was. <laughs> yeah. You got reach, man. Um. That's but have you ever been like so? Have you watched the the clinches in that? Have you ever been in that style? Oh, definitely, definitely, and then especially I do that more in uh in my training and style. It doesn't really happen in my fights because normally it's them trying to shoot or if they're not shooting, we're standing, you know. But in the clinch part, that's basically more my forte, more of a a little things I get to do, you know, a little shoulder pop up type of deal, you know, that little yeah, you know, grabbing yeah, the neck yeah. and. Those little small things like that. So I end up preferring those type of clinch, you know, especially like I stated, worst case scenario, but that's not my worst case scenario. Yeah, that's all. Sticky shit to watch. Hell yeah. Dude. I'm for that. Yo, I dude, chaos, reach out. Dude, dude uh, David <laughs> Feldman, I hope you uh, you heard that, man. Um, That would be a cool ass. We that, take him and everything. The roster would, <laughs> the roster really? would, li- dude, the roster yeah. would light it up, man. Yeah, David watches right. it. Like we, like he's been paying attention to the show, so he's gonna see this, man. What's up, David? I That's hope. Right. Up, <laughs> I hope. Put, that he if it. you want to win, put Booby in. Just oh. tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you heard it. You heard it here first, man. Uh, with your time in the USC, did you ever, ever have any run-ins with Mister Joe Rogan, and did you have any uh good time with him? No, I did not. Granted, that me and him have to talk. Because uh, it was one of my fights that he was supposed to come out there. It was actually the Texas versus me versus uh, uh, Martinez. Okay. You know, and that fight, granted, as in, you know, it's like a, it was a decision and everybody has their own little mindset. And granted, I feel like I definitely won it. 
And that's with literally fact with one arm. So I want you to end up understanding this. His first kick broke my owner bone. Ooh, his second oh, kick wow. basically gave me determination to let me know that hey, he definitely broke my my, uh, my owner bone. Oh shit! Right, and that was literally the first literally the first nineteen seconds of the fight. So wow. the first ten seconds he kicks, block, he breaks it. The next or uh, nine seconds later, he kicks again. I block and literally let me know, hey, my arm is definitely broken. <laughs> and so for hey, 14 minutes and 41 tank. seconds, your boy was fighting with one arm. And you can literally, if you end up watching, you see me like partially like slapping. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, God. like you know, this could have used my right hand for nothing. So I ended up getting a, a plate. So I got a plate on it and everything. So now everybody would have known about this. Yeah, you know, definitely robot on, and it ends up good with the pop locks. You know, pop but, lock and <laughs> but yeah. So if Joe Rogan would have came in there, right? It would have been like everybody would have known that. Everybody would have known that I literally yeah. fought with one arm. You know, it would have kind of changed that dynamic of how life or how it was placed. Because I know a lot of them felt like, oh, he hurt me. Nah, he actually hurt the arm. The arm just kind of, you know, it was triggering through the whole rounds. So it's like every time that I did hit him or, you know, a little something, it triggered. It, it was like a super nerve hitting the um, top of my brain or whatnot. So that's the part that was really hurt and stuff that, like that. But no one will get to know that because no one talked to me. And Joe didn't talk to me. So me and him have to uh, talk about that. Damn, gotta, man. That's hey, unbelievable. Joe, give this man his words, bro. No doubt. You know, I just need my words. Joe <laughs> is a man, dude. He's he's the guy that uh uh we look up to big time. Uh, uh hopefully, oh, yeah, definitely gets love. You know, he ends up doing a lot of stuff and he's you know. insane, dude. He does a lot. Like I don't really know how. Like it's like they cloned him or something because I dude. don't know how he's in so many locations. Yo, <laughs> and then doing Seriously. four hour podcast just out of no nowhere. And, and, yeah, with the coolest people in right? the world. He's yeah. at UFC, but he's also podcasting in a whole separate different studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Live. he did it. Who did it? He might six hours ago. I was like, clone. I'm, I'm in, in Vegas. Now, now I'm in no, clone, no, I'm bro. In London now. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. He's in London now. <laughs> <laughs> he's with Tyler Goodjohn. <laughs> yeah, somehow he's covering bare knuckle right now. Oh uh, man, I see that uh, you get down with uh, uh, the, the, on your stories. Uh, are you a fan of anime? And oh, if so, uh, I'm not a fan like uh, um about uh, uh, Dragon Ball in particular. Who's your favorite character, and who do you relate to the most? Are we talking about Dragon Ball or just in general? Oh, uh, Z, Super. I think the whole universe. Yeah, Z, in, Super. In, in the uh, Dragon Ball universe, yeah. All right, if you're doing a whole universe, if we're saying whole universe, I'll say Yusuke. This is Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, I know a lot of people probably don't know much about that one, but uh, it, on you know, the TV show there. called Christian Universe. Would. Christian motherfucking would. Dude, Christian definitely would, man. You have He's a show. Great. I used to watch that show all the time on Tsunami and shit when I was younger. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hands down. And if we go Dragon Ball Z, it'll be Goku. Just the fact is, you know, wow. be honest, it's like really? Goku hey, I, or even One Piece, you know, Luffy. At the end of the day, it's just something about them that they're not supposed to be there and they do awkward shit, you know? And I'm like the guy that does like the awkward stuff. You are an awkward fun. fighter, dude. I like, I was saying with my auntie, dude. I was <laughs> He's like, like, I like it though. He, He's an awkward yeah. fighter. Dude, but he sticks yeah. it. You stuck at every fight out so far that I've seen. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, facts. True, yeah, dude. Facts. Um, like, uh, it's it's quite like that. It, it does it. Are you in martial arts? And like, I I guess what's your base, man? Like, what like what what is you what did you start out in the fight world? Uh, started out literally with wrestling. Wrestling turned into taekwondo, and then taekwondo went into boxing and now it's like me blending it all together you know but i did definitely started with wrestling got the basis of it and uh taekwondo was literally just the foot movement of getting things of in and out i don't know if you ever noticed in the game i have a, a basically you, decent really good in and out game and that's because of the taekwondo and then boxing i just watched you kick some dude in the head on your maybe it was, <laughs> it was wicked bro uh did you uh what are you guys doing over there, my guys? I'm trying to get it to stand up, but I got a, I got a question that we jumped over. How did you hear about the weekly bust? Oh shit! Yeah. Well, I ended up coming off of a follow, and then I followed back, and then it was like, oh shit, you followed back. It was kind of like one of those moments, like I didn't believe it, but you know, I ended up always checking out little small things or not small things, but uh, 
small things into the direction as in, you know, what are they doing on the background? And I saw yeah. nothing but positive energy on this side. So you ended up got me. So small team, things man. is positive energies. Thank you, dude. I, yeah, we, I was like, wait a second. We're way down here. We we, we appreciate that too, man. Because, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it, it feels like we're gaining some steam within the fight community. They really, you guys have taken us in, man. You guys seem to like oh. us. Um, so thank you, I kind words. Yeah, we really hey, like. That's what I love. Yeah, dude. Like we love. We're we're spectators, man. We enjoy this shit. We're critics. Sound like sometimes we uh, but we're fair, you know, to have that assessment. I think we we spent enough time watching you guys like on the sidelines, but like. We're, we're going to predict your fights, whether it's win, like win or draw, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, I think that the relationship that you guys have given us is, is fair, man. It's cool. You guys taking us in. We appreciate your love. Hey, and we, it's uh, nothing but love. Straight, straight up. Hey. Do you believe in aliens? Of course. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> we just had the first, nope. we had the first like person that just said on the last one, they were like, nope. <laughs> the yeah, first I, one yeah, out of yeah, all no. of our guests, yeah. bro. He said, why I don't know. Tell me this: Do they smoke? Do they smoke? Because my thing is, oh, uh, when you end up getting on a high state, you end up on in a different plane of you got to make you got to make things make sense. And right now, you can't tell me you're the only people on the planet, or you know, in the world, or right. in the universe, yeah. Yeah. you know. Facts. Some people like, say they're multidimensional, well, anyway. Well, Tyler right. came back actually, dude, and he was all like, "Well, he's like." Convince me. Ten seconds later, he said, "He's like, ah, now I'm guessing myself twice." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Well, he's like, let me." Think about it. <laughs> I think about it too much, man. I'm a night watcher, man. I'm constantly watching the fucking stars, man. Hey, I'm not bringing I it up. That. No, 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 no. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, wait, do it, I, dude, I, dude, I legit, uh, le I legitimate got a UFO on my phone. I took a picture. <laughs> just, I'm not breaking it up. <laughs> you bring it up instantly. <laughs> well, fuck it. I do, bro. I know. I know. It's, it's incredible, I it, man. Dude, it's, I really do. Nothing wrong with it. No. Nothing wrong with it. It's a real UFO, dog. Like it's a it's a saucer, man. Two of and them. there's two of them. Yeah, I have it on video and I have a still shot of it from like you like you, you can't you can't explain it. on an it's iPhone. Anybody good. that's an iPhone new you like user usually knows it. Like planes travel at one speed in one direction. It goes like this, and then it goes right back that way. <laughs> and uh, like okay. you can zoom up on uh, an iPhone up to nine, right, on the newest, and then um. Uh, when you take a still photo, you can zoom up to 15 times. Yeah, yeah. So I got the I got the 15 uh, like uh, times zoom with the still shot, and then I got the rest on camera. You know what I mean? Like I got it verified, dude. It's a it's a straight up saucer. It's a metallic saucer, man. It is okay. Wild. Okay, I want to see it because I already do believe it. So yeah. I'll send it to you, man. I might even yeah, just post it right there in the weekly bus. Fuck it. He's got it. It's good. Dude. Yeah, dude. Should we post it on the weekly bus? We would, dude. Actually, I'm going to. Yeah, we should. yeah dude. Yes. The 100%, most, percent The motherfuckers right? show up at the door. Like, that could be our hey, one viral video. Take that shit the fuck down right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, like, yeah, the Instagram's pissed off all of a sudden. I got <laughs> I got a good one for you. So say you discovered a beautiful island upon which you build your own society. What's the first rule you put in place? Why do you have to have rules? But what is your that, first that, that, That's a good question. Why no does it have to have rules? Rules is the first rule if there's no rules, but that's a rule. Is that a rule? You, there no is no rule. There is a rule. That's a rule. There first has, rule is no rule. Actually, say it so often. Tell me this. Who's on my island? Am I by myself? Do I got people with me? You started. I think deal. you find it, then you go recruit who you want and start your own society. Because that's which. Okay. Okay. So upon which you may build your own society. So really, you go handpick your people. I felt this. Okay. Well, if I did have to place a rule, the rule would be no Brussels sprouts on my island. Dude, I got a Damn, dude. I got a fuck. dude. I got a funny story about Brussels sprouts. <laughs> oh, I don't like Brussels sprouts. That's my weakness. If I was Superman, that's my kryptonite. Well, I it won't, depends I won't on, meet on when the island anytime is. soon. <laughs> Why are you bringing the mama out? Of here? My mama just called, dude, and I got a story about my mom and Brussels sprouts. Are you ready? Yeah. So this is a true story. I'm ready. We were living uh, on the base here in Great Falls, Montana, and uh, we had these fake trees in this. Um, you know, you just have fake trees in your living room in the 90s. I don't know why you did, but you did. You With know? the fake foliage, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I'm there was 30, a palm tree. Yeah, I'm like, it's I do because I had those same trees. Exactly. <laughs> made those same trees. I'm 33, and that's what we had in there. Well, uh, I hated Brussels sprouts, man. And she made them one time, bro. And uh, 
she walked away and uh, I lifted up that fake plant, bro. And I hid those Brussels sprouts. Underneath the foam? Underneath the foam of those plants. <laughs> and let me tell you, Brussels Ooh. sprouts already stink, bro. And that's when they, like, they're cooked. Can you? Dude, can I'm, you can I'm, you I'm, I'm, can you imagine like three weeks of uh moldy sprouts? Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, mom was like my I mom, not, our, I could not find the smell for the life of me. Our mom could not, it. dude, and I would not tell her either. I was like, yeah, I wonder what the fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mom, it's your ass. Hey, <laughs> well, you get point with me. I do not like Brussels sprouts. I hate it. I'm telling you, that is a true weakness to my soul. I'm allergic to it. I'll die from it. And people made me try like, oh, yeah, you should try it. No, I'm good. <laughs> I only like Brussels sprouts cooked one way, so I'm I'm happy in that. Part. I'm just kidding. I'm not allergic to it like that. Dude, I eat that shit raw, fucking steamed. I, uh, I fuck with it. You love Brussels. Oh, yeah. nice. It's nasty. Exactly. And I got oh. a I got yeah, a I can. And it goes, is your time truly wasted if you enjoy wasting it? Knowing no. you're supposed to be getting shit done, you're just um, you just love to procrastinate. You're like fuck pro- this, are you, dog. Are you? Yeah. Are you procrastinating or uh, or procrastinating? Oh, to be honest, that's a great question. I like it because uh, I am. I do find myself doing that sometimes. It'll be like moments. <laughs> Who does it? You just get to that moment of, uh, you know. Who does it? The whole day goes by. I'm good. Like I'm, I love it, dude. Like I love it too much. I could probably be a beach mom for sure. Big time. You know, like Ooh, fuck I it. Definitely do the same. I'll say the same. Um, dude, uh, the new Predator came out on Hulu, and then it's phenomenal. Is yeah. it? Oh, I got it. Okay, then I probably got to watch it. I didn't even know it came out. Dude, it's sick, dude. Yeah, I'm on the same. Dude, I had to bring it up. I was like, dude, that thing is awesome. You man. watched it? No, I haven't. Have, yeah, because I just. Realized that it did come out, and I was like looking through all the theaters, trying thinking that it came out on theaters. And I just found out today that it came out on Hulu today. So yeah, it, it's the, so you just like one hundred percent confirmed it. So is it series or a movie? No, nah, it's a movie, and it's thug, bro. Yeah. Like they they did oh, not man. drop the ball on it. it, it uh, right, I'm happy about that. Uh, are you gonna are you still active in uh, UFC currently, or are you transitioning immediately to BKFC if you can? Uh, transition, transition. So, me, uh, me and the UFC kind of, we'll just sit there and say we didn't end up seeing eye to eye on a lot of things or on a certain thing. Yeah. And it was me being like Frank. It was the fact is that I had like this little pinch nerve going on, and they were supposed to like cover it and supposed to go see a doctor to work on it, but they didn't. They basically kind of like said nod nah to it. So kind of like left so not kind of like left and literally two weeks or a week after ended up having a little mini stroke oh. so that was so that became like a little awkward moment but it was like based off on like all last year because you know i'm on this like little losing slump right and i was off of last year going on uh i was going through like little mental breakdowns and stuff like that and and you know ended up getting engaged then you know, losing the fiance type ordeal, leaving it all into like awkward court moments and stuff like that. I was stressing, trying to make her happy, make people happy. And it just, your mind wasn't in the game. Yeah, it wasn't. So my killer instinct, and then I realized my kill drive that I did have ended up got taken away because of my first son's mom. You know, she ended up taking my full father rights from my first child. And I didn't realize that it was a big piece of my, my, you know, my trauma until like basically a week ago you know that's why everything kind of like puts oh, things together like oh this is why you know i didn't have my killer drive is because the drive that i did have was to get back in my boy's life and everything you know but then as soon as it got taken away it's like that was my drive that was my whole that was my whole hunger but now my new hunger it's you know i gotta eat my son has to eat at the end of the day my son is everything and i'll do anything for my son and so, you know, it's a different hunger, a different personality. So the whole Andre that people know is kind of like sleeping. And now they got the full day. Like in the full day, it's the whole new personality that's good. So I've been reading this like book called Relentless. So if y'all ever end up reading or, or in, end up into books of, or, or a book that you want to end up reading, 
Yeah, Read Relentless. I read. I read, bro. Okay, so Relentless, it's a, it's a, it's a good book. So Relentless, it's it's kind of like they give you like three type of versions, right? You got a closer, you got a cooler, and you got a, a cleaner, right? Uh, cooler is someone that's just flows with the day. It's kind of like a beach bum. Hey, I flow with things. Hey, well, however what life takes it, it goes, you know? You got the closer where they're kind of cool with things or they only show out towards the end. It's kind of like a, a majority of a lot of these basketball players or a lot of football teams that they don't open up out. Arguments like I'm a Cowboy fans, but Dallas, we don't show out until the fourth quarter is when we start making the game matter for some Denver's odd reason. fourth quarter team. Where they say we like yeah, we've, you know, we've always been knowing that as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a closer, you know. And then you got a cleaner where it's like a Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, where always on kill mode, no matter what. You put me in the spot, you take me out of the spot, or if it all falls on to me, even if it does fall on me, I'm okay with it because I'm confident. Meaning I have the kill drive of it's kinda like a white shark. You already know what it's what it's there to do. If you see a white shark around you, you know what it's there. It's gonna nip. You have your it's gonna end up tasting tight. what's in front of you. Are you game tight like Kobe on game night? <laughs> uh, I could say that for the first first quarter, but now it's the fact that I wasn't closing, you know? And that's, like I said, where my head wasn't all there. But beforehand, I was definitely like a closer. I was a closer, you know, I was a cleaner. I was a straight cleaner, meaning kill, kill, kill. And after I get done, I'm already breaking down what I did wrong off of my wins just to make sure that I'm better the next time, you know? It was always on a kill drive. Like I literally went on a whole six fight win streak on just kill drive of after I win, I don't even look at, or, you know, I don't even like study my next opponent. It's what I did wrong last time. This is what they're going to try to do to me the next time, you know? So have it was you, always about proving. Have you watched the man in the arena with Tom Brady yet? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, it's good. Plus if You're you, if slacking, bro. You got to watch this shit. If you got Disney Plus, you got ESPN Plus. No, I'm not kidding you at all. If you want to see a man on a winning mission. Or winning time. The kind of winning, like the winning mentality of Tom Brady is insane. It is equal, if not the same as Tom Brady, I, as uh, Kobe Bryant in every fashion. Those guys just want to win in every way. And that documentary that it I like was, it. Tom Brady is insane. He's such a winner. You, after every episode, it leaves you like inspired to go fucking change the world. You're like, that shit's badass, dude. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Like, it, uh, it was, it, dude, his winning mentality. Like, dude, that's what you're supposed to do as like as a hero is like constantly win, right? Mm -hmm. And he makes sure that's accomplished. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah. When you know the battery's dead, why do you keep pressing the button harder on the remote? Because you're lazy and you don't want to change the batteries, You man. might get a little... You know it. You know it. Yo, you're trying to get... You, know, you might get a little bit of juice. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you might get a little piece yeah, of little juice. You, know, you hit that button hard harder, enough... I'm getting the bottom of that... I'm getting the bottom of that battery. Dude, no. Hey. And, then, and then you... I felt it. Yeah, you gotta, little bit. you gotta pack it like a cigarette. And then some... Oh. And then, and then some dude, because it... It says pack it like a cigarette. Because it, it actually works sometimes. Or you fucking even take... You know you have you new batteries. Them around. But they're But they're out there upstairs. You're like, fuck that. You How flip come... them around. And then, <laughs> then you got, and then you got like more, a more, more juice in that fucking... Yeah. Have you ever just like roll them? Like, I even like roll them just to be... Oh, <laughs> just yeah, to be yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you know? Like just little, I'm gonna roll it a little bit and try to press the button a little harder to see if it works. And sometimes it works. How so, come? Hey. How come batteries, as long as we've all known them, have always been expensive? Uh, because <laughs> they just don't it's change. True. They're just like it's always expensive. Is true. Energy, weirdo. Is it me, or can you not buy the rechargeable batteries anymore? You I don't see them. I haven't option. seen them. Anymore. You don't yeah, see them. Definitely don't often. see them. It's I remember, because it kills. Dude, and you okay, can check out battery you. bar. Remember the battery bars? Yep, those were good. Oh, those oh, sucked. Right, though. right. Because they're hurting your finger. I <laughs> <them> in <laughs> and they'd never light up. You're like, fucker. I, I, End up biting it. <laughs> you're like, holy shit, that tastes good. <laughs> you're getting half your tongue's gone. Yeah, no, your no, your tongue has like a miniature arm growing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you guys know that back in like the early 1900s when light bulbs were invented? They were going for the longest lasting light bulb until they realized it wasn't profitable. So then they had to figure a way to reverse engineer it and bring it back down so they'd go out so, every so often. So yes, now that and then they made a and then they made a clause that you can only have so much power in a light bulb for so many hours. 
Yeah, it makes crazy, sense. Crazy, right? Makes, ah. from, from, from a money hey. standpoint, that makes complete so sense. So I think they're doing the same thing with batteries. Why make them rechargeable? Yeah, yeah. now. Dude, These I, are portable. I, I, true. That's what I was saying. I, I, I still have batteries to this day. The little Energizer ones are like 26 mAh. Like, they should be dead by now. Like, I don't know what that no, means. You can <laughs> milliwatts an hour. Mi- mi- oh. Milliamp hours. So milliamp, like, there you go. Till the wow. cell completely okay, burns out. But yeah, dude, they still charge every fucking time, and they last for fucking a month. Dude, they're you good know they shit. they lose a little juice, but they're still rock got, hard. Yeah, you it's never fine. answered your question. Everyone didn't mm-hmm. answer this question actually. Who would you be in Dragon Ball? Oh, um, yeah, froze. You already know my answer. It's either Piccolo wait, or. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Can you hear us? Oh, not again. What is going on? Oh, wait. Are we Levi, here? you're on Wi Fi on this. I think that's why. Oh, close it out. Yes. Oh. Hello? You know? No. Ah, fuck. Did we lose it again? Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they trying to share? Oh, shit. Oh, oh damn. You guys got me back. Don't we know let, what happened. Holy shit. Wait, you want to full screen that? I'll full screen where's that. Hey, where's, do we have any more weed, man? Not here. I Why? Any more pot here, boo. Oh, we do have a little more There's weed. A little more. All right, we're back. All right, so I had a real answer for that question that Ty just said. He asked. Hey, you guys never answered who would you be in Dragon Ball. So, my answer. Oh, well, I'll be, oh I said Goku. Oh, oh, 100%. You, you said that, but I got mine is pick okay. up or sell. So I'm either going to be super demon and try to bring the best out of people, or I'm going to be, you know, that dude, Piccolo. Do you know what's gangster about Cell, though? He's that that dude. Do you know what's Piccolo's gang- dude, that dude, dude. Bro, that Piccolo. What's up? But do you know what, like, like, really gangster about Cell? Cell isn't really that bad of a guy. No, he's a charismatic he, genius, dude. So, no, Cell just wants to fuck up the toughest fighter, Ooh, dude. He yeah. even. No, even it, on. it has to because he has the genes of Goku like in him when he's fucking made because it's like I want to find the strongest. Yeah, this, I yeah. felt that. He got some all, bro. Sells a freakazoid, bro. <laughs> I definitely. <laughs> Who would I, I be? mean? Jiren, that motherfucker is bad, dude. Jiren's the, the top dog, dog. Like, dude. But I'm definitely the top dog. Then but Broly was... came in. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd be. This next season's gonna be wicked. Season. I can't wait, dude. Bro, there's a maybe a hit on this raw dog last. It's all right. I hit that fucker. Uh, yeah. Few good times. All right, I got another question. So you said it on the million on the millions. What is oh millions dot co earlier? I was in that live. I am gonna say it again. You said, "What's the weirdest place you had sex?" You said you could ask me that. I'm answering it. So you're on. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh. all right. So weirdest place I had sex was in behind, or not behind, but it was literally in the back seat of an Uber. Okay. Yeah. Uh, While Uber they were driving. Trying. And note this. So I'm gonna give you. You. I don't know if y'all want the story, but if y'all want the oh, story, we want the story. Wait, wait, wait. Always. Always. It's a weekly right. bust, bro. Yeah. 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 Someone's yeah. busting a nut here, dude. <laughs> I'm, drinking, I'm already hard, dude. No, nah, hold on. Before, before we get into this question, before we get into this question, did it, Did we already ask that question? No, oh, we no, okay, we got a okay precursor real quick. Precursor, <laughs> how big is your dick? Oh, we're on the spot. All right, Yo. so guess what? It depends. So, it depends on like, what, what, what yes, dude. Yeah, you know, because like people don't end up getting because uh, if you're like awkwardly like high, you get a different size. If you're like dude. drunk, you get a different size. I've been so, everything kind of like depends. Said, depending on what the situation is, is how ben, uh, big that motherfucker can get. Yeah. Exactly. Right, you, full fact, full fact. Bigger. Yeah, you're like, you're like, I didn't know you know I had that size. Yeah. Or then when, yeah. you're, when you're in the ice water, you're like, why is it that yeah. like, inside of me? <laughs> like, where, did it go? where did it go? That was a good one, Bubba. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but yeah, so like, are you mistake? That's there? actually funny. All right. Okay, so from between the signs, what we're talking about, it goes from like a good ass eight. To like a ten, so it depends on who we, who who's yeah, what's he happening. That two inch, he got that two inch vertical. Vertical. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta come out the game. Ha! <laughs> on the side, but so yeah, so like I said, it ends up depending on who it was. So like, so Fuck on this, thing, you guys, why is it doing yeah, that? Just give it back. I'll just hold it, baby. Like a little baby. tiny baby. Like ours, the river. 
All right, we're good. If you're fucking a soft six, it's like a solid eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. And it just grows from there. Like a 10 doing your hey. fucking. <laughs> That's the. Oh, my God. But, you know, like a lot of, a lot of majority of women's women, they even let you know, oh, my gosh, did you get bigger? And they'd be like, girl, you capping. Or two, you're telling the truth. Either or, kind of depends on how you end up taking it. Yeah. But. Or if so, you like my buddy, he'd just tell the girl, he's like, I have a little dick. You better find out. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. It does. It works every time for the guy. I got to kind of make it alone on the pen. All right. So with that being said, with the two inch vertical, let's hear about your now Uber we're back story. to the Uber. All right. So Uber drive. So fast forward or fast or backpedaling before Uber we got to the Uber. Uber. All right. So it's a Russian ship. Just note this. Fresh from Russia, she has a oh, brother. Dude. Yeah, dude, dude I, yeah. I, I want to fuck a Russian chick before I die, like straight up. I have to do that. Christian, you want <laughs> the Russian chick to fuck you? Yeah, bro. no, she will too. She's like, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Hey, very much similar into the story. <laughs> very similar. All right, so a girl Russian and. You know, you know, accents already strong. You know, you know when they're in, the, in yeah. their language, it's strong, right? She has a buddy, um, some dude, which is I believe it's her brother, or a uh, or friend. But I just know they're really, really close. So they came uh, from Russia, that ain't out a brother here. or a friend. That's her motherfucking Mac Daddy pimp. That's you her. cooked? <laughs> According to hey. Jason, that's her. Hey, so at that. <laughs> so, hey, so this moment. He's just a watcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, you know, it's, so it's all three of us, right? Uh, so I want to tell you, like, I don't know if you ever, like, you know, watching, like, majority of these, those, like, Russian movies or movies. Like, have you ever watched Banshee? No. no. I don't think so. All right. So I'm going to recommend Banshee. That's a good, that's a good movie. So it's, I want you to think Russian mafia type mindset of what's going on. Christian gets scared. So, we're we're going to have to time down. Okay. Yeah. Make so, him feel like he's in a Russian mob movie. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, and low key, I don't know if I was agreeing to this. Don't, don't talk dirty. <laughs> hey, low key. So low key, I thought it was gonna either be that, or to the fact is that I just joined the gang, low key, or I'm in the mob. <laughs> so just, <laughs> All of a sudden, you're Russian. Just know this. Hey, because I'm talking like it was some awkward mafia type weird shit going on. So I get there, drugs are already happening. I'm like, oh shit, it's all on the table. They talk about, do you want it? I'm like, nah, but we ended up taking shots. So just note that we, we pre game before we went to this club. So yeah. I'm downing, she's downing, he's downing, we're gone. Yeah. We get to this moment that we're at the club, don't even know how we got there, but we're there, right? So we're there. They're high as a kite, one's disappearing, coming back, talking about, yeah, I got him in the back type ordeal. So just hear me out. I got him in the back type yeah. ordeal. Yeah. Hey, you're going to come with me. This is old girl. She's bad as hell. So just know that everything definitely could just say, hey, since I'm drunk, I'm on the edge of, hey, I really want to fuck the shit out of this Russian girl because that was my plan. That was yeah. the mind. Mindset, she's on my list. Right? But it got to this moment like I am following some awkward criminal type shit. <laughs> just, 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 just know that. Yeah. I'm in there. I'm in a back room and it's like it's mafia type status. You feel me? It's at a yeah. nightclub. I'm in the back somehow and I'm trying to fucking figure out how I got back. <laughs> but I'm Hell back yeah. here. Dude, I'm talking not tied up, but the granted of the situation of hey, we're gonna tie you up. It was one of those like deep conversations of hey, he where's the money? The suitcase and it starts going into like Russian awkward words and then it goes back into hey what's going on so I'm yeah. in a fucking movie so legitly I'm in a goddamn movie right now I'm like wow so I'm very awkward when it comes to a lot of things so just know this right I don't know who's the boss or what's going on but I'm very awkward when it comes to a lot of things so I'm kind of like as they're saying yeah if you don't have my money you're gonna x y and z and I'm in the background like he just say he going X, Y, and Z, my man. I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> so Kevin Hart kicking in. I'm in the wrong spot. So, so fast forward it. I'm somehow I get out. I'm like I walk through another room, 
that leads me out of the bathroom, which I didn't go through the bathroom to get there. So just know there's secret doors going on. So I'm coming out of there. She's behind me. So as I'm walking, she like turns me, throws me on the wall, like low key, bam, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, they got I mean, I'm drunk, I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am drunk and vulnerable. <laughs> hey, so that's where the set mindset is at. I'm like that. She starts kissing me. I'm like, wow, grabbing, you know, my, grabbing my dick the whole nine. She's kissing me. The next you know it, I'm on the status of I could control this you know, I control this situation I turn around I'm kissing her then you know it kind of got like real serious and then she got to this moment of all right we're gonna drink some more and then we're gonna go go back and fuck but you know interact accent type we're going to fuck and I'm like okay so yeah that just like that so, <laughs> <laughs> now we know so, you know Christian's you, favorite you drink more you fuck. <laughs> that's right <laughs> hell yeah so we needed it in, chill, right? But God damn it, she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, hey, 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 I'm telling you, y'all, was, it was it was worth all. I said, okay, you know, but we drink, we take the shots of what we were having, we hop up up in the Uber. So no, it's me, her in the back seat, her brother slash best friend, whatever to call it, the case, the one that be like, he he on boss status, he's up in the front seat, the uh, Uber driver, so yeah, he's driving, she's on me, <clears throat> kissing me. The whole nine, I'm kissing back, you know, the whole, uh, next, you know, my penis is out. My pants is down, my penis is out. She's over here with no draws on, right? And the Uber driver is left and right, like this, in the rear view mirror. So I'm looking at him, and he's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's full eyes, eye well, contact, well, right? Dead ass, full eyes, eye contact. And then it's like, it's he's looking back, and the Russian dude is looking at him. <laughs> With the kill drive <laughs> of like, hey, look for wild. <laughs> the Uber driver, like, is is she doing it good? And then he has to look back at you hey. and confirm that she's doing it good. <laughs> hey, I promise you, it was like a, it was an awkward trial. No, going no, on. listen, no, wait, 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 wait. Listen to this. He's the watcher of the watcher. Dude, yo. And he forces the other watcher to watch. Yeah. No, no he hired. <laughs> Dude, he hired He's her that night phone. to be his sister. <laughs> oh my <laughs> to, like, god! Look hey, nice like, to look at you. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Dude, dude it, it has something, man. So, so uh, well, that's uh, what. Wh where was the weirdest place that you've ever fought? Then weirdest place what? I ever fought. The back, uh, of that, the back of that Uber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she was <laughs> right there. Like, could you fight out of make it? Make sure I don't die. <laughs> Uh, I'll say the most awkwardest place. Not even too much of an awkward place. It would be like the sideline of a of the football game of a football game. It was like probably the most awkward because like the fans are watching, you know, the yeah. parents and shit, and there the game's going on, and I'm in here, and a guy just awkwardly like, "Hey, X, Y, and Z," and I was like smiling while he was like yabbering off, and next thing you know, you just see a right hand. Yeet. And then that was like probably the most awkwardest moment. It was like it was the coach's son. It was one of those moments. Fighting and fucking going on at the same time. I love that. What? No, he said on the side of a football game. That was a. He said someone got punched. Yeah. Was he humping? I hope he wasn't humping at a football game. A high school. I wasn't humping at a football game. Granted, I got a hand drop at a football game. There you go. But anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, do, are you, you're a multi-athlete and you had scholarships to college. Did you party too hard in college? I did definitely party. I don't want to say too hard. Not like, uh, you know, where you end up going to like nine places to uh, complete a, a drink run or, or, or normally they end up having their own little codes. But now nah, it wasn't ham ham, but we did go ham. I can say yeah. that. College is crazy, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. So, Wait, you know, to LA, right? Uh, no, no. The thing is, I had I had a scholarship to go there, but I didn't take a S. I didn't take my SATs because they told me I wasn't gonna be shit. Oh, facts. Man. Damn. <laughs> Literally facts. It ended up, ended up uh, causing a, like a, a school war with with the counselor and the coach because of that shit. So, anyways, yeah, didn't make it, but I went to RCC. 
you know, not as cool as UCLA, but you became be a the best anyways, person. Man. Facts. Uh, but full if, ass facts. But if you weren't a fighter, uh, what were uh, what would you have done, you know, sports wise, if you pursued that? Oh, luckily you went the sports direction. So in the sports direction, if I wasn't there, I would right, definitely I direction. Right. I, I guess. guess what would you be doing? Yeah. I just always assume that athletes keep being, want to keep being an athlete, just maybe of a different sport. We're assholes. We have been assuming that. We have. We're dickheads. <laughs> We're going to hell, boys. Well, dude, no, Christian certified that last bro. week. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, Christian was saying, I'll probably be in front of you. Huh? I said Christian was fighting for his life. With no, he's Korea. fighting for her heart, baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for her heart. Um, but. Is it a hostage situation if a person with multiple... Hold on, let him answer, man. Oh. I think, right? Oh, shit. You said what? Huh? Wait, what happened? Where we at now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> back to your thing. Because mine was different. Bro. It was different. You know? We would have had two farms. When you cross over into BKFC, man, uh, who's going to be standing in your... Wait, it froze. It froze, y'all. No way. No. Not again. No. Man. Still frozen. Right Hello? here. Hello. Right we're here. Right here. Right here. We don't like boys. We don't. Huh? I said, hey, hey, we don't like boys. Hold on. Yeah, there. Hold this, Christian. Dude, sometimes, yeah, it does help if you move the laptop. No, like the whole thing, just like a centimeter over. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah, yeah. sometimes that helps. Oh. You know Oh, it's recording back. Oh, perfect. All right, you guys, I'm back. Sorry, dude. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We're in an old hospital, bro. I'm just going to be honest with our viewers, man. Dude, dude, someone, there has to be something going on with the router right now, and it's fucking up. Yeah, someone's got to be pirating some shit or something, dude, because our shit's never done this before. You know? Uh, It's probably just telling me that I got to hurry up and probably get off a little bit because I got to get naked. I just, okay. We'll just, we'll go. I got one. I heard you're in the millions.co. Earlier, I was in the stream. You should join it. Join uh, it, please. That's right. <laughs> How many shoes do you own? A pair of shoes. Oh, you put me on the spot. I actually lost count like at, I think, like 35. And I know that I've been purchasing a lot more because I like Nikes. Yeah, <laughs> why not? That's right. uh, Nikes in my feet. Granted, like, like I said, like I, I stated on, uh, on the millions.co, uh, Make sure y'all signed up. You feel That's me? That's right. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, we did. Yeah, I ended up. Yeah, I ended up seeing myself just starting to buy like shoes because I like I didn't have much, so it's like one of those things. Uh, like you know, I never really owned my own. Like a, hey, basically put it back. Like I never said, hey, I never got like name brand shoes. Like the brands I got was Converse, and that was what I was rocking. Those are the things that I bought, you know. Uh, and then clearly Vans, but now I just picked a brand, and the brand has been Nike, so I just been popping up on with them and they're all like exercise shoes and running shoes and some cool to kick out with but majority running and exercise shoes dude being a fan of nikes dude just for everyday like wear around shoes they're they are skate shoes but they're so fucking comfy the janowskis like the uh, Nike janowskis oh, man. oh yeah 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 yep i know you're talking about yeah. see and I'm, I'm like debating as in should i get that for my next pair so i'm with you here yeah, 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 yeah. The Janowskis are comfy as fuck, dude. And so get the Janowskis. Yeah. The nails. I know what Bernie's talking yeah. about. You know, it's like send it for a rep, bud. <laughs> dude, hit the hit a ten. Kick flip that shit. Um. All right. One more. I got one more question for you. And I also got one more after he's done. Is it a hostage situation if a person with several personalities threatens to kill himself? Dude, nice. It's a hundred percent yes. <laughs> it's like it's hostage. like one of them says, "I want to die." The other one's like, "I don't." Yeah, because that's normally how it goes. <laughs> that's normally that's- how it goes. Like full fact, I actually tried my whole like suicide attempt. You know, back in my time. Um, you know, hey kids, don't do it. At least don't go through with it. Okay. Oh, we just dropped <laughs> the hotline. One eight hundred two you know, seven three. Eight two five five. Yep, we just dropped it. Don't kill yourself. There's people out there. That was just a question that I came across. But 
I ended up having my moments since it was a dark time. And like I said, that was a personality that basically won and just something didn't work out for it. So that's what ended up happening, you know? So the whole seven personality things, I definitely feel like it is a hate crime going on there. I have at least two. Which makes sense. Gemini. <laughs> it's good side, bad side. Um, so if you cross over or when you cross over into BKFC, who is uh, um in your path to get to Reggie? Well, I know that on the – basically on the whole uh, – on the Instagram of uh, him winning or them putting the belt around him or, you know, whatever the video was. Yeah. And I comment on it. There's like three of them. I got to get their names back again but three of them is basically on there correction two of them is on there one of them basically just might have got himself a fight because of that comment it was yeah. a funny comment because one of them was like yeah i'm the gatekeeper or, or not gatekeeper that you gotta you know, i was like that ain't the way to uh ask for a title fight there's a line and i'm like all right hey are you the gatekeeper and somebody else steps in this is the other boxer i forgot his name right now Actually, for all of this, but that boxer jumped in and like, nah, he ain't no uh, gatekeeper. He trashed. So they offered their running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, it's like, a dog world, dude. BKSC's a dog world, man. So, go on. Oh, I was gonna say. So, you're you're active in the UFC right now? No, he just oh, left. No, yeah, no, no he just left. Oh, you just left. So you had a fight in so, June, right? So, so do you think like because the UFC is such a huge thing? Like coming from that to BKFC, where they're just now trying to get like their TV deals and shit. Do you think that's like a downgrade, or is it? It's just you're crossing over to build that bigger. How I don't know. What are your thoughts on like how does that work? That's a good one. No, and it's reasonable. I think right now, where bare knuckle is, is on the uprising, and it's a lot higher than what most people actually. I think it's almost as far as Bellator right now. I think hey, I would agree with Levi. I think I think BKFC, at least in everything that we notice, it is a, it's probably if not equal with Bellator, it's getting ready to for past Bellator. Because I'm just gonna throw it out there for a while, and I've only watched four events. I've watched four BK events, and it's really, in reality because it's for the whole uh, Bellator is kind of like hard with their channels, and you know when you get lost in the sauce, you just don't care no more. You know, yeah. Uh, but with the BK thing, it's right now they're on the uprising where it's exciting. And not only that, they're pulling out or they're pulling fighters from UFC and Bellator because you got to think are. about it. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, on like, a, they're, stealing, yeah, so, they're stealing a lot of fighters. You know? Just like uh, like right now, MVP. Um, debatable, probably the highest paid uh, fighter in Bellator, right? Just argument's sake, at least top, top five. Yeah. Fifth, right? Now – if by him and knowing this, that he ends up making, you know, close to millions or in the millions, whatever the case is, BK got him over. You got to think about that. Like, yeah. you know, this is somebody that could literally probably went anywhere he wanted to if he wanted to. Meaning yeah. if you want to join UFC, they'll end up inviting him. He ends up wanting to go into the whole uh, the karate uh, event that's been going on that GSP and them are on right now. He could go there if he wanted to go one championship. because One championship would honestly pay him out the ass. With sponsor, uh, with Chinese, uh, not Chinese, but uh, with Asian uh, sponsors and everything, they'll cover. They'll, you know, he'll make more money than anybody around the world. But he goes to B- BKC. Got to think about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, we know that already, like, said, years, it's more it's, higher than what people I think. think. That, Thai, that Thailand fight's gonna be fucking sick. Yeah. Oh, Waka. Waka. Yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. Did, like, okay, fuck that. Like, brings me to like another question, like. You think like with all the people kind of seeing that BKFC is the shit and it's been getting bigger and if more people go to that, could you ever see it like going beyond like or being equal to like UFC type shit being on TV like that and people buying the uh, pay-per-views? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say definitely because the fact is, is like when you say UFC, you think BK or you're putting them in the like the top four, top three. You know, I already have. have. Com- yeah. I was gonna say combat you know, for sure. I already have. I have BK. Yeah, so yeah you got combat sport. Like you know, they're going to like a little circle. They're on that top plane. Oh, yeah, wow. UFC is up here. It's because of certain fighters like, like uh, Connor. Yeah. But guess what? Connor's not there no more. In a way, like you know, he's branching off to retirement or wherever the hell is on his side. He's going to BK. 
I think there, it might it might be true, might be true, but him I'm going fired. over there, it's just it's it's up so, so, so you think you think that like BKFC no, will just will fly past Zelator like, not... in its shit, just like fruit to be All hands, hands down. I think it's down. Do you think it could like go even like farther than like what UFC because they're so established and have been? Do you think like it could top that? Well, Dana White has a he has a hold on. Like, they pay their he has a hold on their fighters and he like doesn't pay them very well. I know everybody yeah. bitches. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yep. So yeah, I, yeah. I now that it, you say yeah, I think I think it could probably go bigger. I mean, if he can't, if it's if it's supported well enough and people are paid well enough, I think it could blast by that. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's exactly what they're doing. They're paying. They're paying their fighters at the end of the day. Because imagine if UFC was paying their low income oh, fighters, no. nobody would leave. No one would leave. Everybody would try to be there. They'll have a real organization going on with 100%. you know. And actually, to be honest, to change it, it could just end up turning into a met or metal medical 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 type of deal for them, you know, or uh, you know, little small little small little things like that can end up basically changing that outcome of UFC being the best or whatnot, you know? So, um, I'm going to branch off from that, but if you come to Montana, dude, get at us. We're going golfing. Yeah. Dude. All right. Damn. Damn. Snowboarding, golfing, whatever. I'm down, bro. Why don't you come to the KFC event and come check it out? September 10th. Be- come out. Oh, September, September 10th. I'm tr- I want to be on the car. So I might just be out there. Okay. Yeah, reach, out to, reach out and, to uh, Ryan Hall. And we'll That's have a, Nate we're going to have our own stand. Nate right? Huh? We're going to have our own booth and yeah, stand and Nate everything. Show, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be a part of it, too. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. okay. If I'm not on, I'll be there. And the whole thing is I want to be there. So, they know it's stuff yeah. with my smile. That's right. Well, we, you know, I hope that happens. Me too, oh, man. September 10th and it's 9-10. Look at that. That's synchronicity. Let's my go. Mom. My mom would say that. Well, my man, it sounds like you got busy. I know that you had a uh, uh, gym and everything right after this. I'm pretty sure. Top golf. It's going to be golf. Top golf. Top golf. It's Saturday. Yeah. It's time to go. I mean, it's Friday, but still, it feels like for a Saturday, it don't matter. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, it does. All day, Yule. We yeah. appreciate it. For sure, hey, man. Thank appreciate you for coming on the weekly yeah, bus, my guy. Come back on. Nice to meet you. All right, will do. Yeah, Hopefully, we'll see you September to... 10th. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And then I want to let y'all know this. Added note. That Russian story was very first brought up today. So let's go exclusive. On the weekly bus. Exclusive weekly bus. And I got <laughs> how you guys. Thanks for having me. Hey, Thanks, thank sir. you. Hell yeah, we are the weekly bus.